What's up Dave? Nothing much Mike how about you? Oh just drinking some water. I am new to this accounting process and I was hoping you could help explain the accounting cycle to me. I sure can. The first step would be to collect and verify all your source documents. This includes receipts, checks, pay stubs, etc. You should make sure you have collected all your documents and be sure to not leave any out. So basically that step is to just collect all the data you are going to use? Exactly, you got it. The second step is to analyze all your transactions. Such as buying an assist, you would determine which accounts in your general ledger are affected. The use of debits and credits comes into play here. It's important you classify each transaction correctly so that your books don't get messed up and that they report accurate statements. This step is just determining the transactions and seeing what accounts are affected. You got it once again. The third step then would be to start journalizing these transactions. This is when the actual pen and paper part of the job comes into play, or in today's day and age when the computer takes over. Here you take all the transactions you have classified and start marking them down. Such as writing a purchase of merchandise down as a debit in your merchandise account and a credit to the cash in bank account. Alright so then now I'm actually doing all the initial documentation in this step. Yes, now after all the transactions are recorded in the general journal, you then have to post them to the general and subsidiary ledgers. This step is to make a list of all the transactions that affect a sole account. So for instance you will have one strictly for cash in bank that shows all the cash transactions. This step then allows management and everyone else an easier way to see all the transactions for a specific account. You are learning well. The fifth step now is to prepare a trial balance. This is to provide a starting test of debits and credits. You list all the charts of accounts, find their balances from the general ledger, and add the totals. The credits and debits should equal each other and if they don't you have done something wrong. So this is a self-check step. Yes sir. The sixth step is to prepare a 10 column worksheet. This is a working paper used to collect information from the general ledger. All information on this sheet is used to, to prepare your financial statements. This is making a template for future work. Like a reference sheet, you hit it on the head once again. The seventh step is to prepare financial statements. These documents include the income statement, cash flow statement, balance sheet, and the statement of changes in owner's equity. So these are what the big managers want. This is probably the main thing they care about. These show the life of the business. The eighth step now is going to be to journalize and post the adjustments. An adjustment is an amount that is added or subtracted from an account to bring that account up to date. These should have already been made in the worksheet but now need to be posted to update the general ledger. Okay makes sense to me. What's next? The next step is to prepare and post closing entries. Closing entries transfer the balances of the temporary accounts to a permanent general ledger account. After the closing entries, all the temporary accounts should have zero balances. Alright alright, so what is the last step? The absolute last step is to prepare the post-closing trial balance. This sheet shows the balances in the permanent accounts only. Since all the temporary accounts have zero balances they are not included in this sheet. Once this is done you have completed the accounting cycle. Wow thanks man. I really appreciate it. Before you leave let me review. The steps start with collecting and verifying source documents. Second is to analyze those business transactions. Third is to journalize, fourth is to post each entry to the ledgers, fifth is to prepare a trial balance, sixth is to prepare the 10 column worksheet, seventh is to prepare the financial statements, eighth is to journalize and post the adjusting entries, ninth is to post the closing entries, and last but not least is to prepare a post-closing trial balance. You have learned a lot, you are correct 100%, now good luck on your accounting work. Hope I helped you out. Thank you. Goodbye.